Hello everyone, happy new year again. Hope that you're all having a good day, first day of the year. Hope it's going well for you. I just wanted to give you an update of something I had come across. Now I don't know, you never know, right? Because it does come from the Daily Mail. Uh, but there's a lot of times that that actually ends up being accurate information and they just happen to be the first one to report on it. So um, by chance, this is uh, true. I'm going to keep an eye out and find out if this gets reported in other places, right? If, if, if I don't know, right? I guess we'll find out. But um, nonetheless, I will tell you what it says. It says that ultimately the Idaho suspect stalked the victims for weeks and wore gloves after the quadruple murder to avoid a leaving trail of evidence, claims a friend of investigator. He's that stupid and has been very careful. That's insane, right? And so um, it says that Brian allegedly stalked the four University of Idaho students for weeks before the killings occurred, occurring to a friend of a cop who tracked him. And then also the source said that the suspect was seen wearing gloves after the murders, even to a supermarket, because he's that stupid and has been very careful. Well, not that careful. Uh, and then also he was arrested at his family's home on Friday. And the source said that cell phone data showed he was in the same area as his victims in the weeks leading up to their deaths. Right. So it goes on to say that um, the connection is that it was a good friend of, of theirs was one of the cops who has been following him the last couple of days and was like doing surveillance on him. Right. And then also it says that um, he was sure not to leave his fingerprints behind after the murders. So uh, we're going to find out. We're going to find out as more, um, maybe more reporting comes of it. But I just want to read this to you. So anonymous, please. He was arrested only 40 minutes from our home near our aunt and uncle's. Went to school with my cousins. His sister lives in our town. A good friend of ours was one of the cops who has been following him the last couple of days. He coaches with my husband and was telling him all the crazy details. He followed him into a giant local grocery store and wore gloves the entire time. He's not stupid and has been very careful. Also, he's been stalking them for weeks. Not sure if they ever interacted, but his cell phone pings followed their every move for weeks. So freaking scary and disturbing. I've been so invested in this case the last six weeks and to find out how close he is to us and that one of our friends found him and arrested him is just crazy. And so it says on here, right, that they alleged the prime suspect was stalking the victims ahead of the murders with their cell phone locations matching up on several occasions. I mean, that, that's, yeah, that's concerning. And then it goes on to say, not sure if they ever interacted, but his cell phone pings followed their every move for weeks. And so um, that was the two newer things that I had come across and heard um, being reported here. And so, I'm going to keep an eye and we'll see if anything comes out on other um, outlets, news stations, anything like that about this. Uh, see if this person comes forward and, and talks to anybody else besides the Daily Mail. But um, I thought that was rather, wow, right? That's, it's concerning. That's awful, man. It makes me feel so bad. It's like being hunted down. And, and then you wonder, was he the one that you know, was possibly stalking Kaylee. I don't, I don't know. I don't even know what to think on, on a lot of this, but I did just want to pass this on to you. Um, I'll let you know if I hear anything new. I hope that you all have a really good day. I'll talk to you very, very soon.